and Minister Patricia Venus Henry. Join me every Sunday right here on the Tobago Inspirational Network at 9.30 p.m. for Stepping on the High Waters. Stay tuned because God is turning things around for us in this season. Uh, good evening to everyone. Welcome to TIN Studio, Tobago Inspirational Network. This is Stepping on the High Waters with Pastor Patricia Venus Henry, founder of Laborers in the Vineyard and Senior Elder of Divine Destiny, Tobago Crown Point. And I am here with great joy coming to you this evening to let you know that Conference 29th year is here. Amen. I would like you to be in a place, relax in your space, as I give you the information that you need. And before I do that, I will just like to pray. Father, we give you praise. We give you thanks. We give you glory. This is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for who you are. We thank you that your love is sufficient for all of us. And we are in a time and a season where you are calling on all your people to join with you in this new season to do what you have on your heart to do. So, Lord, we thank you for this program. We thank you for your viewers, your listeners, your believers. We thank you that each person li listening to TIN God will get some form of inspiration that will propel them to their destiny and their purpose. And we thank you that your people will be encouraged so much by every leader on this program to go forth and do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Yes, before I go further into the program, I would just like to let you know that our School of the Bible program registration has started and you can call 633-3780 for more information. Call 633-3780 for more information. Or you can call my number at 781-3467. 7813467 that is school of the bible 2024 and you will get all the necessary information sent to you by email or however it can be delivered unto you amen so spread the word around that school of the bible 2024 registration started and we are looking forward for a number of you to take on this one-year program. Yes, it's just strictly Bible, strictly Word. So as you call, you will get more information. Amen. So we have a hot topic for conference this year. Laborers in the Vineyard present Uncharted Waters. Your host, Pastor Patricia Venus Henry, and our speaker will be Apostle Emmanuel Vivian Duncan of Divine Destiny Trinidad. And the fee is $100, just $100 for both day. And the dates are the 17th, November 17th to the 18th, 2023. We begin at Friday, 6.30. We will be on time. People, we will be on time. 6.30 p.m. until, and from Saturday morning, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. And we are asking all 
of us who will be attending, please dress for where you are going. Please dress for where you are going. You know, sometimes you're going out to these meetings and you just haul on a jeans, pants or a skirt or just haul on something. No, this is a different conference. This is a conference with a difference. Uncharted waters. Go look up uncharted waters. We are asking you to come dress properly for success. Dress for where you are going. If you know you are called by God, if you know God gave you an assignment, you don't know how to start or you are stuck, come dress for your release to be loosed to go and do what God calls you to do. Amen? And my numbers, it will be on the screen, so you will just take the numbers and call us. You know, I was saying something to someone, Brother Sean, is that if we are going to Trinidad and an international speaker come in, we, we dress, we dress to impress, we dress, you know, and when our local conferences are here, we just put on anything and we know you have to encourage yourself that I am called, I am going somewhere. I have an assignment, so I am going to walk in that assignment. I am going to look the part, I am going to dress the part. Because you and I have to believe that you are called, God gave you an assignment, and you must walk and fulfill that assignment. Okay, viewers? All right, so you got the date, you got the time, you got the speaker, and of course, the venue is Scarborough Library, the Anne Mitchell Gift Auditorium. The Anne Mitchell Gift Auditorium. So please be there. Please be on time. Put aside those dates on your calendar. This is not a conference to be missed. It is not a conference to be missed. Get excited. Get excited. I'm so excited. We, I mean, I have done conferences over the year. This is 29 years. And the topics are very, very enlightening. This one is very, very cutting edge. Very, very epic. Very, very cutting edge. So please, encourage yourself. Encourage someone. Come out. It is right in the middle, in the center of Scarborough where transportation will be easy. So come on out, come on down, come on in Scarborough to hear what word that the prophet is going to bring to you from the Lord. Amen? And I have the book that he will be sharing from. This book is a very potent book. Um, the, he wrote this book, the, the name of this book was The Good Samaritan, and then he now, God, have him change it to When Destiny Calls. It is very loaded, and we are asking you to pre-order. It is one twenty-five order now because the, the price might go up when the new shipment comes. So order now, it is one twenty-five. So you call me at 781-3467, 781-3467 to get your copy with a down payment or full payment. Those that paid and those that paid half of it, they are first in line to get their copy. I also would like you to, when you get your copy, is to begin to browse it, go through it, so to get a sense of what he will be coming with. So you will understand, you wouldn't be there on the both days trying to grasp. You are already in it, so you will be more excited, you will be more attentive to hear the word of the Lord. Amen? And as I said, it is 29 years strong, and God is taking us into a tremendous season, a tremendous season where he wants to prepare our minds. Um, the question is, do you know where you are going? Are you sure that you know where you are going? Those of us who 
were ambushed before or is in that process of being ambushed on your way, you need to come. You need to come. Those of us who are scorned on our journey, you need to come. You need to get there. Amen? Um, all of us who are left behind for dead, you need to come. All of us who were forgotten on the journey and you, you have been stuck in a mud, stuck in the rut, or you crash, you need to get up and come and dress for success, dress for victory, dress for where you are going. Amen? In whose hands are you? In whose hands are you? So you need to come. God might put you in the hands of someone. Maybe they know where they are going and what they are doing. Maybe not. You are not sure. You are unsure. You are in an unsure place, an unstable place. You are not settled. You, you are not feeling the lifting. You are not feeling the shifting. You are not feeling the settling. You need to come. Brothers and sisters, you need to come. We no longer says women's conference. We left out the women and we, are, we joined force with the men because a lot of the topics the men needs to hear it. So we drop the women conference and we just do it all inclusive so men you are also invited i know some of you are saying oh this is for men for women where no 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 come it's a joint force come and be blessed come and hear what the spirit of the lord is saying to you and this is a scripture that apostle shared from let me read from verse 30 Luke 10 30 to 37 and it says and Jesus answering said a certain man went down to from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves which stripped him of his raiment and wounded him and departed leaving him half dead and by chance there came down a certain priest that way and when he saw him he passed by on the other side verse 32 says and likewise a levite when he was at the place came and looked on him and passed by on the other side 33 but a certain samaritan as he journeyed came where he was and when he saw him he had compassion on him and went to him and bound up his wounds pouring in oil and wine and set him on his own beast and brought him to an inn and took care of him and on the morrow when he departed he took out two pence and gave them to the host and said unto him, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Which now of these three thinkest thou was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? And he said, He that showed mercy on him. Then Jesus then said Jesus unto him, Go and do thou likewise. Now this book is very, very loaded that I said to you. And as you are reading it, you will feel your destiny calling you. You will feel your destiny bubbling up inside of you. You would feel your destiny awakening you. Those of us who are sleeping, those of us who were put to sleep, your destiny will be bubbling inside of you, awakening you for the journey. And that is why I'm here this morning. Until the conference, I will be here proging you 
to get up, get alive. Get up. Now is the time to get up and to do what God says to you. Whether he says you need to go to Scotland, to Switzerland, to Zimbabwe, wherever it is time to wake up. It is time to arise and shine for the light has come and the glory of the Lord will what? So it is time for you and I to move from where we are into that spot. Into that spot. Yes, I know some of you are saying, but um, Sister Pat, you don't know how hurt I am. Listen to me. If we only stay in that place of hurting, we will remain right there. If we keep thinking that Susie did me this, Stella that did me that, Paul choked me, this one, you will never move. God is sending people in this small little island to wake us up, to revive us, to take us to the next level. Do not let your time pass by. Some of us, our time was passed over and over and over and over. Now God is a God of a second and a third and a fourth chance. Do not let this time pass you by. There are things in our lives that are untapped, unexploited. Exploit. Get up and let the Spirit of the Lord lead you to where you are going. As I said, order the book when destiny calls 125 and begin to get a gist of what the spirit of the lord is saying to you and i the whole book may not be pertaining to you but one part of that book at least one chapter of when destiny calls will wake you up to get on with, the, with, with, with that work at hand, what project at hand, what event God called you to. Amen? Many of us too, we have questions and we keep asking God the same questions over and over and over, but we are not positioning ourselves. We are not aligning ourselves. I am not here to throw stones at anyone, but some of us, Instead of opening up our spirits, opening up our hearts to hear what God is saying, we close it in further and we get angry and vexed and say, who are they to come and tell me? Well, listen to me. The devil would say, yes, beat them up. I am here to collect. And one day we will wake up when it's too late and then the fight will be so much for you to get to where you are going. Make it easy on your life now. Make it easy on your family life now. Make it easy because where you are at the workplace, God probably placed you there to ignite the fire, to burn, let the fire burn in your presence there. And we are not doing it. Get up, Sheila. Get up, Stella. Whatever your name is, Paul, Br Brendan, whatever your name is, get up and do what the Lord is saying for, for you to do. Hallelujah. What it is that is waiting for me on the other side? That is a question that you can ask yourself. If God wants to send you out of TNT, what it is? That is awaiting you and I on the other side. Amen. How do I deal with those circumstances that I am facing? And many times we sit at home and trying to rational by ourselves, to reason things out by ourselves. And God is saying, no, come into my space. Come into my presence. Come and sit before me. Come and lay before me. Come and rest in me. And we like to fight by ourselves. And many of these things is not your fight. It's God's fight. He wants to fix it how he wants to fix it. But we want to do it how we want because we're so accustomed fighting unnecessary fights that we cannot even curb our own selves. Allow God now. Let us allow God now. Let us step out of the way now. 
and allow God to fix us. Listen to me, when God fixes us, we are well fixed. When he's, when he's shaking, he's real shaking, no, no. And we, we, we have to be so quick, so ready to be in that space to prevent the unnecessary bawling and screaming and itching and scratching. Why? Because many of us, we love that rebellious place. In your heart, you are not rebellious, but you are behaving rebellious. We are behaving rebellious at times. And God can't even get a word in. Come as though you and someone is arguing, 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 and the person is waiting to get a little piece in to tell you the correct story. But you believe by going on and going on and going on, you win. No, you did not win. No. No, 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 no. And we always have to be going around the wilderness, going around in circles. No settling, no settling, no settling. Come on. We have a book named From Soars to Soaring. From Soars to Soaring. When will you soar? When will we soar? We in soars all the time. We just sit in the mud, in the rut, with sores. It's sores, sores, sores. My foot hurting me. My back hurting me because this. My, 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 my legs hurting me because this. Come on. Let us move from sores to soaring. Destiny is calling. When will we say yes to destiny, people of God? And even to those of us who, who have not tried Jesus, we have not tried God, please, if you are listening to me right now, it's time to get up and move. Listen, if you are selling by the disjunction and your goods are not being sold, you have to move from that junction and step into another junction. And if a little thing is happening there, you hold on there to see how the goods are selling, how it's going. And God will tell you, God will tell you, move from this spot to this spot. Position yourself rightly. Divide yourself rightly. Think. Make your thinking be skillful. And we have to be teachable. So I am saying to you this evening, destiny is calling you. It is time you come and learn what God is saying. And as I said, the conference would be a very, very tremendous one. Uncharted waters, uncharted waters. The fee is $100 for both days, Friday and Saturday. Please come out and be blessed. Dress for success. Dress for success. Amen. Tell your auntie, tell your uncle, invite your friends. Let them, you know who they are that are struggling. Ask God who you think that needs to be there. And please, if you are excited, they are excited. Don't allow them to be more excited than you. And you are the one that God really called. Amen. Let's get rid of the sores in our hearts, the sores in our spirit, and emerge. It is time to sow. I just want to read an next portion of the book that says, it is he who undertakes the journey from Jerusalem to Jericho. It is he who gets ambushed by the thieves. It is he who is scorned by the priests and the Levites. God wants you. God wants you. He wants you. He wants you. It is very, very important to know that God needs you in this time, in this precious time. Amen. So I'm urging you. I am praying for you. 
we are all praying that you will come and be ignited. You will come and be blessed. This conference here will charter you into the cause of action that you need, need to go. Come and be explored. Come and be ignited. You, you're supposed to be very, very excited that God wants you to do some investigating. It's uncharted waters. Come, examine your spirit, examine your heart. Come on. It's now to take, it's time to take action. It is time to untie yourself. Come on, uncover yourself. There are things in you that you don't know that God placed there for you. So until we meet again, this is Stepping on the High Waters with Pastor Patricia Venus Henry of Laborers in the Vineyard and Divine Destiny Restoration Worship Center. Calling on you guys to come and be a part of this conference. Share it, share it, share it. Get your spirit excited. Get your spirit in a place where God can use you. He can untie you. He can loose you. Come on, men and women, thou art loose in this season. It is time to step forward. Stop the, the, the going back. Stop the stopping and launch forward into the deep. Now it's time to launch forward into the deep. So, Father, we give you praise. I give you thanks, God, for our people. We thank you, O oh God, right now that your people would be ignited. Your people would come to know you as Lord and Savior once again. And those that don't know you, oh God, will accept you as Lord and Savior in their lives. We thank you right now, God, as we join forces with the Holy Spirit to bring your people into a place from sores to soaring God. It is time to remove thyself from sores all over you, sores, sores, sores. And Lord, they are only a, a, a scabbing, removing the scabs and the sores is exposed. Come, allow the healing process to take place. Allow the healing process to take place and soar as eagle on eagle's wings in the name of Jesus. So God be the glory until we meet again. Be blessed, stay strong, and be ignited in this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm Minister Patricia Venus Henry. Join me every Sunday right here on the Tobago Inspirational Network at 9.30 p.m. for Stepping on the High Waters. Stay tuned because God is turning things around for us in this season.